do 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 Hey everybody, welcome to the show, this is Bob. One more time, Kathleen. Hey everybody, it's Miles. Oh my gosh. What are you singing old Star Trek stuff for? I just felt the mood, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Were you watching it this weekend or something? No. Oh, okay. I, I never know with you because you know if you catch an episode that you've never seen before. I like to watch other stuff. <laughs> I'm only watching porn at this point. Kind of, yeah. I've been watching TikTok, so yeah, it kind of is like porn. Oh probably. my god, watching TikToks. Yeah, I've learned a lot though. Oh yeah, what did you learn? Enlighten me on your TikTok uh, knowledge. Stuff. 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 You don't. You can't Stuff. describe it. You can't. The challenges that go on, you know, and stuff like that. I don't have any idea. I've never. I've not explored TikTok. You. As a you probably shouldn't. I. I would. Yeah, I wouldn't do it if I were you. Well, I'm not planning on it. I just asking you because you. I was thinking. That, I thought that Static Radio should have their own TikTok page, but I well, thought maybe not. You're welcome to do that. You know. So maybe not. You are the social one uh, between the two of us, so. The, the TikTok thong page, you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunately, you're the you're the one with the thong. Or am I? I don't know if that would go over well with the audience. Want... Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just feel like saying Kathleen. Kathleen. Oh, Kathleen. Oh, my goodness. Time. So what's going on? Night. Uh, nothing. We're on an off night, so this will probably be an off show, just because that's the way it normally goes. You know, when we are yeah. off our schedule, yeah. our schedule yeah. because of everything that's going on here. So, right. uh, no, I, you know, um, I, I'm trying to think of something that happened. That, I mean, I this COVID is just killing me. With you know, I don't leave the house, uh, and. Um, so I don't have nothing happens. You know what I mean? I, I could tell you about right. my cats doing stuff, but uh, nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> I think we already heard about that a few weeks ago. The, well, cat the one cat. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was funny, but they haven't done anything like, you know, super, well, he's still doing that. Yeah. That cat is, but, uh, Oh no, what, what's going on? So, <laughs> you know, Just let him finish, honey. Let yeah. him finish. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. no. So uh, last night I had some excitement, though, at the old homestead. Okay. I hope this doesn't get too weird. This <laughs> no. Um, tornado went over. What? Yeah, tornado went over. Thank goodness it Ooh. went over. It, a lot of violent touched, blowing going on. Yeah, it, touched, it was a lot of violent blowing <laughs> To touch down, uh, it touched down in the, uh, <laughs> further out in the country there, and the tornado too. Yeah. yeah the tornado. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I hope it didn't get your apple tree because the neighbors won't no, have nothing they, to eat. The apples are yeah. they're out of there. But yeah. no, yeah. Last night we had to go to the basement and the whole bit because it was <laughs> severe. <laughs> yeah. And we wow, I and we that. swear we heard the sounds of a tornado but not you know like up above us yeah it was like yeah you know like really whistling hard so yeah exactly and all i could think of was i i wanted to just that there was nothing to see it was just total darkness and um yeah. a lot of wind and rain and and then you know turbulence um uh, but yeah yeah just narrowly got missed uh by a tornado yeah NTM. NTM. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, this house has just got built, and I'm going to, anyway. Gonna take yeah, I'm going to say, man. Yeah, the way your luck's been going, fuck. Yeah, I know. So, 
but no, it was everything was fine. But it was like we were in the middle of eating uh, dinner. Waffles. No, we had. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had waffles in a while. Oh no! <laughs> Don't get uh, me started, Bob Lamette. It was a, a birthday celebration of sorts, and. Um, Oh yes, yes, it is someone's birthday. And yes, we had a Ooh. Olive Garden, and so everybody's like grabbing all the Olive Garden and taking it down the stairs. Uh, so yeah, I had breadsticks in the basement. <laughs> I just picture you like a whole armful of breadsticks walking down the stairs. I'm gonna come as fast as I can, everybody. Where's the marinara? Where's Thank- the marinara? Thankfully, I was done with my endless salad. Oh. <laughs> The endless salad. So yeah, you know, endless salad and breadsticks. So I was just gnawing on some breadsticks at that point, and uh, yeah, we had to go down and take take refuge. And uh, kids, look at me, I'm Marilyn Chambers. Ah. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> had to go down and and then watch the uh, excitement on our phones until the power flickered and the whole thing. And it was a whole big. Uh-huh show but it was it was over fairly quickly it was it, you know i would call it a uh title honeymoon experience yeah uh, it blew up yeah. fast and then was over before you knew it and then uh, yeah you know yeah uh but yeah, yeah that was the excitement i was like wow now we we've actually this is the second time different when we had a different house we had a tornado that actually did damage in our on our property um, was that, that that little dinky house that had the huge yard? Yes, yes, the small house. That was the weirdest, the weirdest house. <laughs> a, the, a tornado had come over that house and like basically ripped the top of our tree off and threw it onto our neighbor's truck. <laughs> yeah, I was not there. I I was actually on my way home from work when that happened, and I got home mm-hmm. and it's like, I mean, the whole we had a it was a private lane. But um, yeah. the you couldn't I couldn't get to home. I mean, there was so many tree parts all over the road that uh, I could not get back to my house. And uh, yeah, so that's a second uh, tornado experience we've had in in different places. So yeah, tree yeah. parts, not to be confused with lady parts. Yeah, it was just tree parts. But yeah, I came down on the neighbor's. Well, actually, it wasn't even the neighbor's truck. It was the friend of a neighbor's truck because it happened during the day. And I guess they carpooled or something, and they parked their truck on the lane, and and that our tree came down and like smashed the bed of their truck. So wasn't there a weird story about that neighbor? Something about didn't he die and like no one knew he died or something? Mm. Wasn't there some weird story you had like a long like million years ago? Oh no, yeah, one of my one of my neighbors, uh, he did pass away. He was a he was a very interesting fella. He he lived in Mm. a, a big. We were in the small house. He was in a big house. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't know that he died. We found out he died later. But he was a very interesting. He went to yeah. Antarctica when he was like in his 70s or something. Dang. Uh, yeah. He was a really an adventurous guy. He, he was very nice. Uh, nice guy. I did not know him that well uh, before he passed away, but I did meet him a couple times. And he was always, he was kind of one of those people who you, when you looked at him, you thought he was going to kill you. <laughs> was it um it wasn't danny trejo was it danny trejo no it wasn't danny trejo, trejo. but uh i'm he, sorry trejo i'm sorry i pronounced that wrong trejo yes yeah, well yeah, whatever yeah. i maybe you're saying it wrong as well no you're right you're right yeah but no but i mean you know how danny trejo is, it seems you know in all if you read about him he seems like a really nice guy he does a lot of nice things for people no i know i'm just saying but if you didn't know him and he came like to fix your tire or something you'd be like i don't know i'm not sure about yeah so if you can imagine a a white danny trejo from like the 50s that yeah wearing a hat and everything this would be this guy he looked like when you come when you looked at him he looked like he was just ready to beat the shit out of the next person that said hello but uh, all yeah. in all, he was a pretty nice guy. <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. he would, mm-hmm. uh, I'd say he was the guy that used to sit out on the, on his, uh, he had like a swing, uh, like one of those bench swings, you know, had a little, yeah, 
thing. He, yeah. Up on the hill uh, from where I lived, the uh, little house, uh, he was up on the yeah. hill in the big house, and he would sit on the swing with a pitchfork, and then he would just sit there and smoke a cigar. And uh, and then you'd see him walk down from the swing down the hill. And there's this, they own this property next to us. It's a big, big property. And then he would kill gophers. <laughs> <laughs> License for the United Nations. He'd have the stogie going and he'd be sitting there and then he'd he'd get up like, you know, an old man. Yeah. He'd get up, he'd have this grab this pitchfork, he'd walk down the hill and he'd start stabbing the ground. And then he'd kill the gophers and then just leave them in there. Yeah. Honey, bring the kids into the house now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like George is out again. Let's just, yeah, uh, yeah let's err on the side I of mean, caution. He's this heading is, this way. Yeah. <laughs> this is like his favorite pastime. I swear to God, all summer he'd sit out there and just kill these things. It was like, hey, that's interesting. I, I asked, I think I asked his wife because I would go, uh, his wife, I would help every once in a while with her computer. Yeah. I'd go up there and help her, and, and uh, she'd be like, oh, yeah, he doesn't like the gophers. And I'd be like, yeah, I guess not. But he loves porn, so yeah. this thing's full of viruses. <clears throat> but I talked to him a few times, but he was not a very, he wasn't a super sociable kind of guy necessarily. But he, mm. when I did talk to him, he was very nice. And he had, he, he mm. apparently was quite a generous uh, person with his, uh, with his time uh, and did a lot of charity work. So go yeah. figure, right? Uh, fire bad. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. He was not a very tall guy. He was kind of like one of those guys that was. If you can think of the guys in the fifties where their pants like were around their their chest, they're pulled yeah. up so high and wore like a dress shirt all the time. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looked like a little. He was built like a square. You know. Yeah. That's what he was yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. A real stocky guy. But uh, mm -hmm. apparently he sold uh, tools. He was very big in a tool company. <laughs> Don't pitchfork. <laughs> was... Many uses for a pitchfork. You know that, Bob? Let me show you one some, right now. Some kind of mechanics tools. He had these very old cars in a special garage with... Uh, did he work at the Nipple Works? No, I don't know where he worked. I didn't. I did not inquire. Actually, I do kind you know, of know where he worked, but I'm not. You know, there's a that. building downtown St. Louis, and it's called the Nipple yeah, Works. Yeah, the Nipple so. Works. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Some buildings you don't forget. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? I know. You were like, I wonder what's in there. Nah, what the uh, heck? How do you get a pass to get in there? I need a handful of dollars or something. So, anyway, he's a he's a cool. Guy. I don't know how we got from tornado to that, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we got off a tangent. Uh, that's fine though. But uh, anyway, yeah. he killed the gophers. Kept the go. I didn't have to kill any gophers. I can tell you that because he took care of all of them. So he just imagined they were there. You know, until he passed yeah, away, yeah, and then yeah. I had all these fucking gophers I had to deal with. <laughs> all of a sudden, a million gophers. Yeah, all of a sudden. All they start taking gophers. over. I'm like, what Fred's the dead. Fuck? Fred's dead. Because, you know, whenever they weren't getting stabbed, they were fucking like crazy in those coals. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, there's a, there's a war going on with this old man. We better get some more troops. Mm -hmm. It's all about the uh, war effort, honey. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. What's going That's on with good. you? I've been stabbing gophers and, uh, you know, I don't know. Um, so, all right, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to go, I'm going on a short trip here, uh, yeah. soon. And, short uh, trip off of a long pier. Wait a minute. And I'm just kind of, I don't know. I've been kind of just all over the map. You know, I've been grouchy and happy and I, just, I don't know why. I've just been like a bag of emotions getting ready for this, you know? And Right. Yeah. I don't, why? I don't understand. I, I know. I get. I get like this. I get hyped up. I get hyped up. You got some the older problems. I get, the worse they get. And uh, well, no, I have problems. I'll say that. You are that. you menopausal? I think you might be. I well, I am. You know, I am uh, that age now. You know. I think so, you're menopausal. Oh, jeez. I am. I am. Yeah. 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 But um. So. Uh, so we, uh, and I know you're going to snicker, but my wife and I lay down for a nap, and I know you're going to snicker. Be, but um, so I get up, and I tell my wife a few things, and I, I think so she's not quite. So did you get, get any sleep? 
Did you get any sleep? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I know. I think I know why you're cranky. <laughs> I think I know exactly what happened to you, my husband. And uh, I must have told her stuff when she was groggy or something, because yeah. I, uh, I'm like, you don't and play I told with her the crank, I get cranky. I tell her because I'm like, I'm gonna go, you know, clean out the car. I'm gonna go to a place and get it washed and you know, yeah. vacuum. It's stuff. only ten thirty. Like, well, Everything should still be open. It's okay. Yeah, it's ten thirty there. And uh, so you know, I make this big thing, and she's, oh, I got a bunch of quarters here. You know, just dig through my purse. Like, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, also, you know, I told her something else about, uh, like, my son or something was going on. And I'm like, okay. So I go and I come back. And she has, like, no recollection of what we just talked about. Oh, she went back to sleep or something? I guess. I don't know what happened. I came back. She's like, where where were you at? <laughs> and then you and then you looked and your little uh, baggie of Bill Cosby uh, date rape kit was open <laughs> and you sing. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I, I forgot to put that away. I must yeah, be. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you got, like, it's got a picture of Cosby with a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey and, uh, everybody go... wants some. Anyway. <laughs> and, uh,. So she's like, "What? Where were? Where were you at? What? What?" I'm like, "I was getting the car vacuum. I told you that. Like, you know, I was just left for like 20 minutes. I came back. She's like, no recollection of it. Like, what? Well, that's probably. I would say that's probably about uh, 35 percent of your conversations with her. I'm like, okay, <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. I said something. I don't remember what I said something, and she's like. What? What's wrong with our son? What? <laughs> I go. I didn't say there was anything wrong with him. I said he told me this, this, and this. Like, what? The, what the hell? What drug did you take? Did you get roofing yourself or what? I mean, he's like, what? I have what? to escape sometimes, Miles. I can't take it anymore. I mean, man, did you, were you blazing it up when I was gone or what? Man, like just she, zero she probably had like some kind of hemorrhage because you actually said you were going to actually do something. <laughs> what? You're going to do something? It. I can't believe Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. And then she's like, oh, oh, oh. Hemorrhage. So I, after a while, I felt bad. I felt bad because I wasn't very nice when I told her this stuff. You know, it was like very yeah. – cranky and a few minutes later i go i want to apologize no, 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 no. i no i did i said <laughs> i realized i felt like i was having a conversation with myself you know like uh -huh. just totally out of the loop in the dark about what's going on because you know women are i told you that bob yeah. we had waffles i told That's you that's right i know really and you're just like really so. what i don't even you know, think we have a way to make waffles yeah. Whoa. Oh, yes, we did. Oh. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. I'm like, I, I want to apologize. Cause now I think I know how it's like talking to me half the time, you know, because oh it was God, like, this is so not what happened. Yes, this is what happened. <laughs> I said, so I'm sorry. Um, and then she's like, what? You're apologizing to yourself. I'm sorry. I'm like, well, of course he is. He always apologizes to himself. If oh, I didn't mean to do it. To this conversation that went on in your head. Yeah. He just walks in, he goes, I'm sorry. And I go, that's okay, I've been crabby too. And he goes, no, I was talking to myself. <laughs> no. Go, You're apologizing to yourself? And he goes, well, yeah. And I go, oh my God. I'm like, <laughs> I, would, I said I was apologizing because I – Maybe that's how I, because I always feel like I'm out of the loop around here. Like, I know, I know, I'm not told anything. I am not told anything around here. Then I'm meant to look crazy. I get it. Okay. You're crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. You were told that. No, I wasn't. Yeah. Yes, you were. Okay. I'm crazy. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm crazy like a fox. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. You messing with the wrong guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. wrong guy. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, I don't know. I, hopefully, I'll just mellow out sooner or later. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't great. think so. I think you got. I think you got something going on there. I know. I, I think, know. I, I think you've run out of eggs. 
You got no more eggs. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I think you're having some problems there. I've got well, the I've luckily, got some women problems. But I'm still I'm still a screamer in the bedroom, so Well, just on your own. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just because you pull too hard. <laughs> What's the difference between pink and purple? You're like, settle down, settle down. It's how hard you're squeezing it. It's not silly putty for Christ's sake. It's not a chew toy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. You're terrible. Yeah. You're terrible. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, I don't know. Yeah, so we'll yeah, so no more uh, knockout pills at bedtime, nap time, then, huh? Yeah, I know. I'm not going to roofie my wife anymore. Yeah, you know, it's not working out for you. Yeah, I just totally you see, just. You gotta. <laughs> you see, you're not right to talk to my wife, shine. and she's like, no. <laughs> I'm talking to my wife, Camille. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrible. No, fuck. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. She's okay though, right? She snapped out of it. She's okay now. Yeah, she's fine now. Oh good. She is fine. And you actually did vacuum or did you just like go and stand at the car wash for a while and not actually vacuum? Uh, I washed I washed the mm -hmm. car. You washed it? As much as 5 bucks would do and then I uh, <laughs> vacuumed as much as three dollars would do. Oh, there you go. Good. Okay, so it still looks dirty. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean, for ten dollars, no, you know, the car wars, you can't get everything. The only thing there. I'm suspect about, though, I'm like, I come home, I'm like, man, I think someone must have dinged our car. Oh, and really? Oh. I. My wife asked, "Oh, what what part of the car?" I said, "Oh, uh, the rear driver's side." I get silence. So I oh and now I'm seeing laughing. So now I'm oh. thinking maybe maybe I'm not so crazy after yeah, all. Maybe you know? the dirt was there, positioned there for a reason. Huh. Yeah. Somebody charging this on the rear passenger. I don't know. I, it's I feel I feel like Leo DiCaprio in Shutter Island. You know I don't know what's real and what's a dream. <laughs> anymore. I really freaking don't. I don't. You're just you're just ho really hoping for Mark Ruffalo to show up on you, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You're like Mark Ruffalo, hey. <laughs> yeah. Can we? Can, can you make the Hulk come out of just parts of your body? 